بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Hello everyone I am Abir Al-Anadi your English teacher today Today we're gonna take flying high two for the second level of the secondary stage This is our book today Today inshallah our lesson will be from the new unit keeping up with technology the sixth unit from the book okay our goals today of our lesson establish the unit topic technology expose students to extended written discourse magazine article teach constructive stress expose student to voice in uh, <coughs> extract student to Expose students to target grammar of the next lesson, gerunds. Develop reading skills, reading for specific information, and develop speaking skills. This is our objective today. Now, go to lesson one, developing the car. What's, uh, what do you uh, know about cars? Uh, the developing and uh, cars change okay you know cars uh, cars maybe for over 100 uh, years they have been made it or made they become more more easier and effective and uh, prettier than before today we will talk about cars go to one speaking discuss the following question who in your family has a car? What would use a car for if you had one? I think most of us has or have cars. We use it for going or transfer between places. Go to school, go to supermarkets, visit others and so on. Go to, other, to our jobs. We use car for these things. Now go to the second question. What kinds of problems do cars cause in big cities? Cars make our, uh, make our earth worse. Why? How can it be a uh, worse environment by using car? If you use car too much, you will make the environment uh, tired and bad and so on. Why? Can you give me or count some problems cars caused it? Okay, I will give you some. Pollution, noise, accidents, traffic, ac accidents, traffic, jams, problems caused by barking, and there, is, there are a lot of other problems which caused by cars. Now move on to B. If you could choose one of the cars in the photographs, here we have two photographs. As you can see, here we have a red car and a small blue car. If you would choose one of them, okay, which would you like to own and why? Okay, what do you like to own from these two cars and why? Give me the reasons. Okay, I will tell you some reasons or some features of the two cars from my point of view. The first one, the red car here, it's big. Uh, it's uh, f uh, good for family. It's strong, has more space to take uh, a lot of people and a lot of things. It can go in uh, desert and uh, in uh, any place you want. Mountains, desert, any place you can go with it. There is no problem with this car. It's a strong, big car. While the other here, it's a small. There is no too much space. It's economic and uh, it has uh, uh, affect the environment less than the other one. Uh, it doesn't take too much fuel and so on. So now we have no now some aspects or feature features of this car and this car 
and according to your demands you can choose which one is better for you i think young people can go with this car because it's more economy and more effective and small easy to use for them better than the big one now go to to reading and speaking answer the questions guessing if necessary if you don't know try to guess the answers here we have three questions number one are cars today technically very different from cars in 1970 or virtually the same okay here the question says are there difference between the car are there difference differences between the car at the 1970 and now i think it's yes of course yes there is a lot of difference between the cars at the 70s and now now it's useless uh, uh, the cars use less petrol and produce uh, produce less pollution than the cars in uh, than the cars in the 1970 it's too much better than the old cars which cause a lot of uh, smokes and uh, gases okay now go to two which state in the united states took the lead in moving toward non-polluting vehicles california illinois or new york here we have three states one of them take the lead take the lead to be first state to uh, which uh, non-polluting uh, with cars okay they use the non-polluting vehicles on it okay if you don't know which one of them of them we will read the text then we'll answer this question the last one what are the advantages of zero emission vehicles now we will read about the zero emission vehicles and notice the advantage of them okay read the magazine check your answers at exercise two now this is the article why a change from petrol engines here we have the article cars have have come a long way since carbons built the first practical petrol powered motor vehicle in 1885 over the first seven decades of the 20th century, they become increasingly fast, comfortable, safe, and reliable. Most of them also become much less expensive, so more and more people could afford one, a new or second hand. Driving de uh, developed from a hobby of the rich into a uh, a fundamental part of everybody life or everyday life it becomes from by 1970 improving the performance of cars didn't seem possible however by the end of the century virtually any new car could cross safely at 30 kilometers an hour faster using less petrol and producing 80 percent less pollution than a new 1970 car this was the result of using a new technology such as fuel injection multi-valve cylinders and above all micro processors or mini computers today's cars produce about 50,000 kilograms of polluted annually mostly carbon monoxide and ozone and every day there are more motor vehicles most people realize that if we don't do something about the situation it could lead toward an ecological and human health disaster producing cleaner alternatives to the petrol engine is the key and some government have been pushing car manufacturers to do just that in California, for example, 10% of all new cars since 2003 have had to be ZEVs. 
zero emission vehicles and that quota will increase progressively. ZEV's technology is also progressing, uh, progressing faster than ever with the car industry continuing to explore different possibilities and often surprising us. Indeed, the traveling by ZEV is becoming more common and has many advantages. They are cheaper to run and maintain, make your city quieter, and most importantly, they are pollution uh, free. Now, after reading this article, you can check your answers. So, we will go back to 2A. Are cars today technically very different from cars in 1970 or, or the same? Yes, they are different. They are different. Okay. Which state in the United States took the lead in moving toward non polluting vehicles, California, Illinois, or New York? California takes the lead. Three, what are the advantage of the advantages of zero emission vehicles? As you can see here, as you can see in the last paragraph, Zero uh, ZEV's technology is also progressing faster than ever. It's faster with the car industry conti uh, continuing to explore different possibilities and often surprising us. Indeed, traveling by ZV, ZEV is becoming more common and has many advantages. They are cheaper to run, maintain, make your city quieter and most important they are pollution free okay these are the four advantage of the zv or the zero uh, zero mission vehicles that's uh, that's what can we say about the zero mission vehicle now go to c now go to see note at least note at least three facts you have learned from reading this article compare your notes with a partner's note or a colleague or a friend or anyone try to write three facts you have learned from this article read the article again write three facts and for further information and i want you also to go to page 51 and answer the questions about the passage and about this uh, article. And that's all for today. I hope that you have enjoyed the lesson. Thank you and see you as soon, inshallah.